Palestinian Islamic scholar declares jihad and calls to eradicate Hindus. YouTube, these are not our views. We are reporting on the views of other people. We condemn these attitudes and comments. And I'm going to say that repeatedly because this is very sensitive. Okay. Everybody pray to the YouTube gods and ask for forgiveness for covering news that is too controversial. Thank you. Right. Um, right. <laughs> so... Uh, Nidhal Siam, a Palestinian Islamic scholar, recently held a hate rally at the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem to protest comments deemed blasphemous towards Islam that were made by members of India's ruling BJP party. Siam declared jihad, a religious war, to eradicate the quote-unquote cow-worshipping Hindus who had insulted Islam and the Prophet Muhammad. He also addressed the, quote, affronts and hostilities made by the infidels against the Muslims, including actions by France, Sweden, and China. Siam stated, quote, the only appropriate reaction is to declare jihad for the sake of Allah and discipline the infidels and polytheists and by eradicating them. Mauritian Islamic scholar Sheikh Mohammed al-Hassan al-Badaw al-Shankiti also added to the controversy when he appeared on a Turkish television program and advocating for, quote, deporting the Hindu foreign workers from the Arab nations, especially from the Gulf countries. But so Palestinian Islamic scholars have no chill, you know what I mean? Like in absolutely the zero chill. Yeah. So when I saw this news, I was like, uh oh, we got the Palestinian Islamic scholars versus the Hindutva. This is not going to be good. <laughs> Like they found out about Hindutva guys. Like, watch out! This is gonna get, this is gonna get some incitement towards violence. Um. Yeah, I mean, well, this I don't know how to comment on this. This is disgusting. What do you want to say? Like, I don't know how to. Should comment I read on his this. full comments? I uh, know. I think it. Well, should I think we? It, I, okay, I think sure. it gives more context. Or okay, like, sure. I want to like really dig into like how. Like, expose this guy. He says, okay. okay, again, YouTube, YouTube, these are not my comments. I am reading the comments made by other individuals and these attitudes we condemn. Okay. Quote, oh, Muslims, do you see the infidel su successive affronts and not hostilities? Read, okay, can you not, uh, this is getting dangerous. When you read the whole thing, can you not read the eradication part? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Muslims, do you see the infidel successful? Oh, oh. Change eradicate oh to ejaculate. Just so we could throw off YouTube. Okay, go on. <laughs> okay, no, thank you. <laughs> no? Okay. Um, oh, Muslims, do you see the infidel successive attempt affronts and hostilities towards the messenger of Allah? We barely got clear of France's affronts when we had to encounter the affronts by the Hindus, those cow worshippers. These affronts are nothing less than a war against Islam and the Muslims. The infidels take turns in waging war, this war against the Muslims. First, it was America with its aggression in Iraq and Afghanistan. Then um, it came from Sweden with its kidnapping of Muslim children. France attacked once and Russians multiple times. And then there's China with its crimes. And now the Hindu cow worshippers who have destroyed mosques, killed Hindus, uh, killed Muslims and destroyed their villages. Now they slander the master of mankind. And then once again, he reiterates that the only solution to this is to declare jihad. Um, and, okay. Oh my gosh, here's where things get crazy. So then he explicitly incites Pakistanis to commit violence against Hindus. He says, as for you, O people of Pakistan, you have a greater duty than others in fighting the Hindus. They are right there on your border, occupying parts of your land and killing your people. You have a great army that is capable of disciplining the Hindus, making them forget the whispers of Satan. Okay. This is, this kind of narrative is really bad. Like if I was Palestinian, I would like, people like why are you making things more difficult for us right like the main things palestinians have working in their favor is some people's sympathy okay and i'm not saying this person represents all palestinians okay but that's how people will see it people are like oh my okay like this is gonna really hurt people's views on palestinians i'm not saying i endorse it because i don't think collectively but this is this guy Instead of making like, like, 
instead of making life more difficult for him, I mean, he might be making life more difficult for Hindus, but he's also making life a lot more difficult for Palestinians. Like this is oh, such definitely. a self own. Like you're basically like, at, you know, targeting your own team by doing stuff like this. Like you, you, the thing, you know, winning the propaganda war, like that's the main thing you have in your favor as Palestinians. And this guy is a, is a huge, you know, inconvenience and, and, and that respect. Like, I, I think the main people should, who should be calling this out, like would be in their best interest to call this out are other Palestinians. But, but unfortunately, is this in the West Bank or in the Gaza Strip? This is in Jerusalem. Oh, wait, if it's in Jerusalem, is he Palestinian? Like, does he, like, does he not have an Israeli citizenship? I don't know. He's always referred to as Palestinian. Maybe he self-identifies as Palestinian, but he's not Palestinian. Because I know there are a lot of, uh, a lot of Arab Israelis who just, just get disgusted by referring to them as Israelis. Like, even though they're technically mm -hmm. Israelis, and they refer to themselves as Palestinian. But I think, like, if he lives in Jerusalem, there's a chance that he's not even Palestinian. He's just like an Israeli Arab, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But, I, well, he's he's very, he he is a hate monger. He yeah. frequently incites people to violence, and he is an Islamic extremist. Um, I was looking through, uh, you know, his greatest hits, so to speak, and that includes inciting the overthrow of the Jordanian regime. Um, it, I. Uh, mean he's made claims that he's going to conquer paris and rome and rule europe with islam um he's going to establish a caliphate and liberate jerusalem um yeah 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 um yeah he he this this cleric this cleric is quoted as saying muslims are time bombs waiting for the call of jihad Okay, what are the laws around this in Israel? He's in he's not in Palestine. He's in Israel. Okay, um, like do is there are, are like if there's a, such a direct call for violence, like is does Israel have any laws against this? Like is this I have no incident? idea, but it's mm. crazy. This man is in, like yeah, an extremist hate monger, and I thought it was important to talk about this because. You know, we are constantly accused of Hindu phobia and all this stuff, but I do think it is important to highlight legitimate, deadly anti-Hindu bigotry. And this mm. is one of the largest examples of it I've seen in years. This is insane. Yeah. Unfortunately, the this is... I, anyway, I don't want to act like this is completely fringe, okay? Because if you look at Pew Research, there's a among palestinians there's a huge demand for extreme punishment for people who insult islam or like go against the sharia or like leave islam even right oh yeah so sometimes we say like if okay so to be clear a fringe uh, number of muslims is that right uh, do carry out acts like this but unfortunately the people within Islamic communities who support it, even though they themselves don't do it, it's not fringe. That's like a high percentage, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. And that, can, that it's high empirically percentage, measured. We're yes. not just saying that. And, it's, yeah. yeah. And that's high percentage in, in Palestinian territories is higher, is very high relative to even other Islamic countries. So there's that. Um, yeah. No, I thought it was important because then there was also um, this guy who came on an Egyptian Muslim Brotherhood affiliated channel in Turkey. And the news presenter of this program says some of the most dehumanizing things I have ever heard about uh, Nipur Sharma, the woman who made these blasphemous comments, right? Like so bad, like if what I read earlier was bad for YouTube, like I cannot say what this guy said about Nipur Sharma and just like really derogatory, really extremely bigoted things towards her as a Hindu, um, really extremely dehumanizing language. And then he follows up by bringing on this shake to talk about what, this sheikh is advocating for and this sheikh is openly advocating for all hindus to be deported from 
any Arab or particularly Gulf region country simply because they, uh, this comment that this woman made. Millions of people, miles and miles away from home, who have nothing in common necessarily with this woman except for the fact that they're both Indian nationals and Hindu. And he said, and they're like, oh, well, what do you have to say to people who would say, oh, what happened to your humanity? Why would you punish these people who had nothing to do with this? And he said, okay, but they follow a certain political party. They vote for it and they serve it. The BJP party is hostile to the Prophet Muhammad. If they return to India, that party would have to stop, stop its attacks or else it will have to accept all these people who will become an economic burden. This is what we want. If all those millions of workers return to India all at once, it would constitute a huge blow to the BJP, not to the workers, but to the ruling party itself. And it just really sickens me to see people just openly advocating for and unabashedly talking about like just massive extreme collective punishment, open bigotry against Hindus, but it's also evolved into just bigotry towards Indians in particular, because they don't necessarily know if the Indian that they're talking to is a Hindu or Muslim or not just automatically. Um, and seeing these remarks, like really, I don't know, they're really upsetting to me. Like we, It's, it's just really reaching so much like tit for tat vitriol. It's horrible. Um, Forever okay. Stormy is saying, if there is a violent quote unquote fringe, it usually means that there's a whole ecosystem in the wider society that supports that fringe. Yeah, or feeds that fringe. Yes, I agree. Yeah, I don't uh, agree with this. Satish Singh is saying he is the Islamic version of Nupur Sharma. I don't agree with this. Nupur Sharma did yeah. not advocate for any degree of violence even approaching what this man said about hindus yeah it's not even close it's not even close uh, it's not even close like she said some derogatory things about prophet muhammad as a religious figure like these people are talking yeah. about direct incitement of violence towards extreme why oh, that's i can't say that yeah erasing millions and millions of people it's not even comparable. What she said is pales in what she said pales in comparison to this nut job. Right. So here, read this one. I Bengali Hindu is saying he's the Islamic version of Yati Narsinganand Saraswati, not Nupur That's a that's a more that's a better comparison. It's more comparable. And you keep you said like Nupur uh, blessing. They're saying um, she did not bless. Her. I mean, I agree. She literally said what as well. Like, that's not even... <coughs> I mean, you're saying that, Sargu, as if blasphemy is bad. If yeah. blasphemy is good. But yeah, technically, she didn't blaspheme. <coughs> yeah, she was just Ridiculous. stating the facts. Okay, but I'm using that language because that's how it's being interpreted and reacted to, right? Like, that's how... And also how it's being talked about in most media places. So given that that's the lens through which most people are seeing it, that's how we have to engage and dissect it. Like, I don't, yeah, no, I agree with what you say. Um, uh, doorknob have been seen moderate religious people are like the truck drivers and logistics support <laughs> support groups that supports the front lines of their religion. <laughs> um, in some ways. Okay. So Grissom, sure. Don't slander Nupur. How would, okay. No, no poor. No poor is an insane. Like, okay, so she didn't do anything wrong on this specific area. Like, I mean, we, I've, well, I mean, maybe she did do something wrong because even if she didn't uh, say anything that is wrong, I think as a politician, she shouldn't meddle in religious. Like, she shouldn't as a, maybe as a private person, she could talk about religious beliefs, but in her capacity as a politician, I think she should stay away from religious discussions, right? Well, that's off uh, the table when it comes to India in general. Like that would <laughs> eliminate like everyone. <laughs> but yeah. I, but I no, take it from the perspective of it's a really politically stupid thing to do. Like it's not tactful, yeah. it's not strategic. Yeah, but no poor, like even though what she said here about Islam is all of that was correct. She is a bigot, isn't she? Like she has, like not not specifically because of what she said here but because of her views in other aspects she's she's uh she's horrible she's like a, 
she's extremely bigoted and something somebody that we would love to slander i think we just got a five dollar can five canadian dollar donation by anonymous thank you so much for the donation i appreciate that amazing thank you but yes it should also be mentioned so because you know we're kind of doing this new segment in multiple parts so we talked about like the domestic violence within india then we went to a larger lens went back to look at things and comments made outside of india there's been protests in bangladesh with thousands upon thousands of people protesting against these remarks um so that's worth noting as well and then now we're going to go back to the domestic realm in the next segment and talk about these home demolitions because that's also a very important aspect of this story okay so we have the next story ready can we yes. clap for the next news wait um, okay sorgu is clarifying i think he keeps uh wanting us to read this so, oh yeah. sorgu was saying that i wasn't saying that we were slandering newport he was responding to the person who compared newport to the palestinian supporting that those horrible things against hindus okay, okay. yes in that case i completely agree yeah i agree that's a, yeah it's okay a, yeah that is slander. That is like yeah. she did. She did not. She's a bigot, but not like that. Not that far <laughs> at all. Not even close. liable yeah. and slander. Liable <laughs> and slander, sir. <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Avabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. 